In this video, we'll see how do we add the objects from the application to your object repository without recording, right? So let us see that. Now in the previous videos, I've recorded this username, password, okay, and I've just closed the application. Now what I want is, I want to add few more objects into the object repository. How do I do that? The very first thing is I have to open the application. So to open the application, I have this application which is open. Yeah. Now I'll open the object repository. I'll go to this resources object repository. Now in this place, I have a toolbar which has multiple options. It says the first one, this one option you say that's a doctor sign plus symbol. If I click on this, if I just keep my cursor, you can understand it says add objects to local. What does local means? Local means local repository. There are two types of repository. One is local. Second is shared repository. So I'll say yes, add objects to local. It says, where is your object? So I'll just keep my cursor on the heading itself. This is my object and I'll just click on OK. Now it says, which objects do you want to add? It will give you four options. Select object only, default object types, all object types and select object types, selected object types. So what I'll do is I want to add all the objects into my repository. But right now, if you see, there are three child objects, one parent object. Now I'll say I want to add all object types and I'll just click on OK. So if you observe here, earlier there were three child objects. Now there are multiple child objects, multiple buttons you can see here. So every object, you see there's a cancel button. The text is canceled, the dev name is canceled. So again, if you see WPF image, there's some object which is given and that object's property is also given here, right? So I hope you understood how to add objects to your repository. There's one more method you can add if the object doesn't have proper description, the properties and values, you can identify object with the help of its snapshot, the image you can find out. So that is nothing known as add insight object. So where exactly it is, if you see this option, the plus sign in the brackets, it says add insight objects to local repository. So if I click on this add insight to objects, it will say, how do you want the objects to be captured automatic or manual? Manual means you will be selecting the area. Automatic means is automatically it selects everything. I'll say I want to select it manually. Okay, let's say I'll select as automatic and I'll select this heading itself, my flight application. And now if you see there's a small bracket which comes, it will ask you to select the data, select the area. So what you can do is you can manually select this, expand like this. Okay, you can keep on expanding. Suppose you want to make this object highlighted area as an object. So what you can do is you can select this and then finally you can click on this button as save. Okay, so this will be saved as an object. There will be no properties, you know, values here. It will say that is a test object image, which is this one, right? And the name is given as insight objects. So this way you can keep on adding multiple objects. One more example, I'll just click on this add. Now I'll say as manual. Okay, now it says manually you select the object. So I can just select this way. I'm just selecting username. Okay selected that and then finally click on save button okay now you can see that is inside object 2 and this is the second object if you want you can rename this object i can just rename it right click rename i'll say as username okay and the first one i can just right click and rename it as heading okay that's it so this way i can keep on adding the objects whether it is local objects or you can say as the inside objects anything now if I change any property value, okay, for example, if I have this cancel button, if I change this property value from cancel to cancel to, okay, and I'll just keep my cursor outside. Now, suppose the developer gives you the second build where the name is not as the cancel to, but the build name is as cancel, okay, the, uh, the object name is as cancel. How do you update the object from your this place, from the object repository, how can you update the new object itself, properties and values? So for that, if you see, there's an option given here. Yeah, that's the option given as update from the application. That means if you want to update this property value, you can update from the new build. That's a new application. So I'll just click on this place. Okay. And it will say, which is the object. So I'll say, this is my object cancel button. Okay. So you can see here right now it is cancel to, okay. The moment I click on, okay, it will become as cancel. So you can see, I'll click on, okay. So it automatically became canceled. So all the properties and values, which are, whichever have been changed there, okay, in the new build that can be updated. So you don't have to record again. You don't have to add the objects. 
if you add the objects it will create a duplicate of it right so this is the best method you can update from the application there is few more things in this place now suppose you have the objects in the repository you are not aware what exactly this object is all about so if you just click on this password and if you see there's an option as yellow color highlighted that's a blue icon highlighting the application so you see that object is getting highlighted automatically so if you're not aware about the term what exactly it says suppose if i click on this username okay i'm not sure what exactly username is i can just click on this highlight in the application so you can see the username is getting highlighted on the other hand the vice versa for example if i want to learn let's say what is this all object all about okay so for that time i can just go here you can see this is the option the name of this option is locate in the repository that means you have the application you have the objects you want to find out that object belongs to which option in the repository so if i click on this place locate in repository okay and if i say i want to find out okay button okay and i'll click on okay so if i click on okay you see the cursor will come to that particular place one more example if i click on this locate in repository if i click on this icon okay if i click on this okay you see my cursor comes and stops at this place that object reference that's a test object place so I hope you're able to understand how do we add objects to local repository, how do we add inside objects, how do we update the object properties and values, and how do we work on this place, highlight application, and also locate in the repository. That's all for this video.